GOP convention saw endorsements for a few of the top of the uh, top of the ballot races and that again is including the race for North Dakota's lone U.S. House seat. But things got a little tense this afternoon as they were going through the endorsement process. Valley News team's Zachary Wyand was there and gives us a closer look. After sailing through the agenda all day, the NDGOP convention hit troubled waters this evening. Can we, can we entertain a motion to not accept the spoiled ballots? Do we have the Chair. stomach for that? Madam Chair. It started when it became time to endorse a candidate for the U.S. House. Both Julie Fedorchak and Alex Balaz found themselves nominated, triggering a ballot vote from the delegates that were present. However, it wasn't going to be that easy. 16, Alex Balaz. 6, Julie Fedorchak. 3, spoiled. A mass of delegates wrote in Rick Becker, who isn't eligible for the endorsement due to party rules. In the first ballot, 382 of the over 1,300 delegates voted spoiled in protest, enough to fail that first election. So it's, it's hard for me to understand someone seeking a leadership role who encourages their supporters to spoil ballots. The second ballot wasn't much better. Although fewer delegates spoiled their ballots, a few still protested, derailing the election. 608 necessary to be elected, 605 Alex Balaz, 599 Julie Fedorchek, 13 spoiled. We have no election. After two failed votes, enough was enough for Fedorchek. She decided to withdraw her nomination. This allowed Blas to get the endorsement. I've said this to a number of people I've talked to, and you need to know that, I, that it comes from my heart. I respect who you want to back and who you want to believe in and who you want to vote for. So the next two months, I'll get my truck. You've seen it out there. And I'll get the dog and my wife, and we'll come see you. And we'll see if we can't burn your vote in June. Reporting in Fargo, Zachary Wyand, Valley News Live. Now, the convention was originally scheduled to wrap up around 4 o'clock today, but that delay caused it to go well past 630.